Oh, oui. Assassin's Creed Mirage, the newest Assassin's Creed game in the franchise, will release today, 5th October. Which, for me, since it doesn't have bow and arrow stealth archer gameplay featured, is not that interesting. I thought a lot about let's playing it and playing it. But the more I watch from other YouTubers, it seems like pretty boring and uninspired. Maybe not for the people who like the old, old school combat style. Maybe not for those people, but for me it's more like mm, too much sand. Sand everywhere. I hate it. And I can Skywalker would hate it here for sure. So much orange and brown tones with a little bit of palms and grass sprinkled in between. Also listen to that goddamn bell sound. Oh. I don't know if you hear it, but it's pretty heavy and annoying me already to death. So we get Assassin's Creed Mirage, which looks like they didn't go hard too hard on the marketing campaign here. It was a little bit under the radar, I believe. They went all out with Valhalla with marketing, which uh, is, in my opinion, even better looking aesthetically. Especially they got the um, Valheim and the uh, Odin's World quests. But I feel like they went a little bit backwards with the game. They was intentionally going backwards for the combat, but also visually it doesn't look that good in my opinion. Next to that, every YouTuber I saw it play, they tried, seemingly tried to hold back how bored they are or how mediocre it actually is. Which, it looks like a decent mediocre game, but uh, not like it's something new breathtaking or something where they felt like they created something that needs heavy marketing so it's just gonna be selling to the big fanboys anyways murder indeed like Valhalla especially I feel like they went so hard on the marketing for that one that this one is just an in-betweener under the radar one till they bring out the next one which apparently will be samurai inspired Assassin's Creed codename Red is what I've heard in Japan, which probably will be more dope. So this game for me is just skippable. I'd rather play Lords of the Fallen, which comes out in 10 days on 13th October, which is Dark Souls inspired. And this one. And this one. Yeah, I started playing oh, Assassin's Creed with Origins, which helped me from my first guard attack. Which is pretty much my favorite Assassin's Creed game. Bow and arrow co combat, which I goddamn love. I love ranged combat games. It's more than my jam. And because of the little guard attack I had for like more than two weeks. Yeah. Also, the price comparison is kind of a dead giveaway. Assassin's Creed Valhalla on Steam is 60 euros. And Assassin's Creed Mirage on the Epic Store and Ubisoft Connect is 50 euros, so it's like 10 euros cheaper, which means there's probably less time and love backed into it. It's just maybe it's Ubisoft Connect, it's also 50 euros. And you can buy it by Ubisoft Plus and PC Access, whatever that is. But that Tells me already that they didn't go over the board with it and I've heard marketing they don't go over the board with marketing just I guess paying YouTubers which would be a nice deal for me I would probably tell them they're decent uh, even though if it's not bow and arrow stealth archery mm, it's not really my cup of tea I like range combat too much Pretty cool reviews are also pretty favorable. It's looking like a decent game. Mediocre as hell though. But I don't trust any of those reviews. Anyway. Assassin's Creed many have been waiting for homage to its roots. Yeah, I guess that's something you can agree on. But not for me because I goddamn love bow and arrow gameplay. Roots, 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 roots. So I don't like the aesthetics. It looks kind of boring to me. Where's the, where are those pictures? Oh, not this one. 
it's all looking so goddamn brownish with a little bit of green in the that's probably part of the map wherever they are oh but damn that just every building looks like the same kind of block of bleh also this picture looks less quality wise like very low res anyways i'm gonna try to see if my assassin's creed valhalla is still bucked for the rest of the video so that's what you're gonna see and just me talking about damn it valhalla was so bucked to me i didn't let's play it just could never finish it because of a goddamn fenrir buck there i found it i found what buck i had the Fenrir boss fight bug during the fight with Fenrir I can get to the stage where I bind him but then he disappears on the ground and never reappears I've restarted the fight several times and it keeps happening has anyone else experienced this yes me I know I wasn't capable of fixing it they fixed it with a badge I believe I thought they fixed the bug a while ago there is no fix except to keep restarting and eventually you get lucky and it won't bug out I assume you have the latest patch ah uh... Yep, yeah, that's pretty much what I had, and it was bad. That's why I never finished Valhalla for myself. I played it a lot, and I actually enjoyed it otherwise. Oh, but I never got past this part. So let's see if I can get past it. There we have it. 75 hours blade Valhalla. And I couldn't finish it because of a goddamn game-breaking bug, I believe it was a wolf in the Odin's world's Valheim damn I didn't play this for like two years damn when did this game come out beforehand way beforehand three years four years damn I love bow and arrow gameplay and I'm fully decked here never could finish the game so I'm gonna just try it that bug is resolved or if I'm screwed forever to never finish this game which I probably won't even finish it. Fuck. Okay. Loading screens take forever in this game. Ah yes. I believe the boss fight was completely glitched. But I um, just need to check which difficulty I have. Symmetry is looking good. Skills are probably looking good. Yeah, I believe I'm super leveled up. Damn. Oh, I completely forgot about how this works but i put a lot of points into archery somehow Valhalla and every other origins of the sea look way better graphic wise and landscape wise better handcrafted and got the um, mirage i don't know why but it just looks so much better difficulty Controls gameplay difficulty. Where's the difficulty? I don't want to get stomped on. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna get stomped on, I guess. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. There was a game breaking bug here. Look at how cool that looks gameplay, landscape wise, graphics wise, and Mirage is just grey, peige, orange, brownish. And then we got this cool thing. And sadly, two times in this goddamn part of the map, my game just got a bug where I couldn't progress. Javi, you're a bomb to my eyes. What happened to yours? A sacrifice for something greater. Is the wolf nearby? Yes, but he's grown. I have kept him company, but he's consumed by a sadness I cannot understand. Regrettable, but necessary. I knew from the start this wolf brought ill tidings. From the start it was a kind creature. But our mistrust and cruelty have robbed sure. the poor wolf of its sweetness and life. Would it be a kindness to kill it then? We are past the time for such mercy. This wolf has power now that would test our strengths combined. I fear mm. he is possessed of a power that renders him ever-living. Then we will offer him a different fate. This cord is unbreakable. You must convince him to wear it. It will act as a leash whose magic will signal that he is safely secured. 
and assumes okay. Okay. to Ooh, the AC. I a just, beacon. Just want to see yes. if it's all this bug still. And I don't even remember Andy. what the bug was. A good word has come. <laughs> yeah, right. I wish you well, Great Wolf. But a fear still hangs over Asgard. The Aesir worry about your growing size and strength. Oh, yeah. And what do they have to be afraid of, old friend? It looks more nourished. A collar fashioned by the dwarves. A beacon. That we may track from a distance to know where you roam. Wear this, and you may live and thrive in Asgard without worry. Oh, I smell something sour. Wear the color, or return to Jotunheimer. There's no third way. Son of Loki, have I not treated you with kindness? We are bonded, you and I. And as I trust my king, so you may trust me. Open your mouth. As a pledge of faith, you may take my hand if I am untrue. Fair. Be swift, Harvey. Except for the wolf graphics, but I might have turned something down. Harvey? Well, nice. here goes your arm. Unbind him! Harvey! Here you stay, Fendweller! And the arm is gone. I believe I couldn't progress the boss fight. I don't yeah. know. Die. I don't know, man. Deceiver. I don't even know how to play. Oh, yeah. The difficulty. It's high. It's high. I didn't play that game on an easy difficulty. I'll do a switch, even. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, what have I got myself into? That's not crouch. But I mean, that game is so bad and high, badass and high quality. I don't see how Mirage compares to that even. And the way it's all out with the marketing. Okay, that seems like it is easy difficulty. Maybe I can progress. I never gotten to the next cutscene, so that was the problem. But I don't see the wolf doing much. It must be a daisy's difficulty. I'll do. What did I do? Abilities to. I don't even know how to dodge. Oh, yeah, that's dodging. Raven not available. Because <laughs> I'm getting my ass beaten. Oh, air one. That does the damage, even. Nice of the game. Okay, got it. Oh, wait, there's a button prompt. Fine. The music is gone, but feels off too. It will be an age of storms. An age of wolves. <laughs> right. Nope. There's a weapon we all swear. Where is it? Oof. Let me guess. Yeah, R1 again. Yeah, I hit button mashing. Should I use 
use the warm up round. Maybe do I inventory and our weapon switch here? Yeah, no, I have different bows. Oh, Sneedler. Oh, yeah. You manage. You niche pro? Sure. I'm sure that will do. Yeah, it's. it's yeah. That doesn't seem better, though. I said. Oh. Sure, it stays this difficulty at least. What oh, else have I as ability? That seemed like poison arrow. I feel like I picked the worst fight to showcase the bow and arrow gameplay. No, it's time for melee. But the stealth was so smooth, especially in Origins. That's a real cool pose to a free bite. The binding must have glitched back then. Then comes the second great sorrow. When it's the such a long time. They gotta have some things? updates. This is the tale I tell myself, each night in the cold and dark, before I sleep and dream of tasting your flesh. Ow. I want... Nope. God damn. What does this do? Ah, multiple shots. I didn't hit him. Not at all. Perfect dodge. Come out. Oh boy. Die. Perfect. Perfect shot. That's the most like last of fight still. The most leg last of fight to show off our cool Valhalla boss. Yep. Our dodging gets me health back. Holy, holy hell. I feel like Valhalla still was something else with also some very cool storylines and characters. Yep. I mean, it's pretty much over. Definitely the wrong fight to show off how good this game was. My favorite game of the series is definitely Origins, mostly because of my guard attack back then and I had nothing else to do besides play for like two to three weeks of that. So it's fixed, right? I mean, if you get a cutscene, it's 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 fixed. Oh, hello! Look at I that! Strike the killing blow. All my oaths remain unbroken. Anyone lesser would have succumbed to his hatred. Sure. Skip. They actually fixed it. Good job. Good job. Jesus Christ, I can't remember what actually happened during that bug, but I had it and it was the worst and I tried it multiple times. And I even had same similar bugs where I needed to reload a previous save. So it's trash. Thus, it's the white screen of doom again. No, looks like I could theoretically finish the game. Have you come to say what I fear? Not to I say, won't. but to show a vision of the times to come. None living or dead now equal our heavy in arrogance. To believe that you could remake your fate thus. For all your efforts, for all your struggles, the threads of fate still bind you as tightly as ever. And yet, from this pattern, a single strand escapes the fray and stubbornly clings to the weave. Esir, Vanir, your doom will come. The earth will shake, the sun will die. Jötnar will stalk your streets as fire rains upon your heads. 
and the great wolf Fenrir will feast upon your blood. But you have found a way to live beyond this terror. Let it flow. To cheat your death. From the life tree we go, to the life tree we shall one day return. Mind and spirit will search to a time far beyond your own. To a time in which you shall be reborn. None may follow. Loki least of all. It is done. Time to face our end. Yeah, it's not glitched anymore. It's good. Yeah. I didn't see any sign of Mirage having that God theme. The Outer Worlds God theme experience that this game has. Ah, I feel like it's some more so an unimportant in between a game, Mirage. But this is just the event. Over the top with building this up, sadly the box killed it. Um, suggested power. Sure. Ah. Good. Good. I guess I should be done here. Save. Main save. Jesus, 21, 21, when did I start, do you see that here, 8 hours in November 27th, yeah, I took my time with this game, November and March, that was before Let's Play, No, it need to be super quick, and it definitely bugged me that a lot of YouTubers just got two days early in. Assistant's Creek for hold up. That looks weird. Ugh. But no, Mirage ain't for me. I can open my Steam and show you what I have planned and how much hours I have in Odyssey. And the only thing I want in Odyssey is replay the Minitar quest line. That was pretty much the best thing from Odyssey. Hype Train. Ah, yes. Void Train is a game. I Played a little bit. Where is Assassin's Creed? They already say. Goddamn 112 hours. And I feel like I didn't even play halfly through the game. There was so much goddamn to do. Which it wasn't that bow and arrow heavy focused. But I still liked it a lot. Origins I played on the PlayStation. That was damn Origins. 2019 that's when this was released so 2017 was the ratings which i like the most like i said because of goat so far the ubisoft store mirage is out ah, yeah 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 new gameplay trailer watch now sure show me show me surprise me update your locations <laughs> uh you think that you're located in austria no shit uh, nah, nah. I want to see the trailer. New trailer. Launch trailer. I accept cookies. I mean, for 45 euros, it's not that expensive compared to stuff here. Are you not gonna show me the goddamn trailer? Show me. But it looks so brownish. Oh, it's German. Awesome. It doesn't look like an upgrade, so I feel like it's just a transition in between a game and they are gonna go hard on the next one. Just a little for the casual, not so casual, enough, for the hardcore fans who love the Blade Old style. That's mostly for them. This one screenshot in particular, I mean all those screenshots look like it's more so not all out quality wise 
uh, it's looking very the same if especially this one it just looks low res low res man god i just i would have definitely that's the best looking screenshot i would have definitely played it if it would be boring arrow though not gonna lie that's my jam and that's pretty much the biggest let down for me but did it give me did not give you the chance and i believe assassin's creed red is the code name assassin's creed mirage writing i heard some weird camel sounds that's why i looked it up red code name red so maybe they are working on an assassin's creed game with the samurai star hopefully also born era but we will see this is so german yeah, yeah, I'm done here. Yeah.